the Syrians pay the price in three manners, by or through displacement inside and outside the country, the physical and the losses of uh, lives that happens every day, if not every hour, the economic losses in view of the collapse of the economy, in view of the uh, huge destruction in basic infrastructure, including the social infrastructure, including hospitals and schools and uh, pub other public facilities. On the refugee front, in the last 24 hours alone, we have received over 11,000 Syrian refugees that fled to the neighboring countries. 9,000 that fled into Turkey, 1,000 to Jordan, 1,000 to Lebanon, uh, the, which brings the total number of registered or assisted refugees in the region to over 408,000 Syrian refugees. It's simply unacceptable that today only 35% of the support for the refugees is funded for. We don't have an overall figure for the country, um, but certainly during a recent assessment to uh, HOMS, we were able to document that approximately 50% of the physicians had left that city, um, and uh, specifically of the 27 physicians working for the Syrian Arab Red Crescent in homes, only four were at their post during that assessment. When we speak about these numbers and we hear figures of 400,000 refugees and 2.5 million uh, people affected inside Syria, half of those are children. And as you know, this, this conflict has been going on for more than 18 months. In the life of a child, 18 months is a lifetime. So in many of their heads, they have been going through terror for the better part of a lifetime in their heads. Children are the most vulnerable. Children don't have a voice. In fact, children are innocent victims of this crisis.